Here are all the 13 kaijus and alien monsters that appeared in Shin Ultraman. In my opinion, one of the best monster movies from Japan in a long time, with top-notch monster designs. So let's get to it. The first one, Gomez. Gomez was the first kaiju to arrive on Earth during the mass appearance of these gigantic monsters, breaking free from a mine. Gomez then engaged in combat with the JSDF, the Japan Self-Defense Forces, but was killed by a tank detachment emptying its ammunition on him. In this movie, Gomez is a modified Godzilla 4th form model from the 2016 film Shin Godzilla, just the design. It appeared to be more armored with extra plates on its body and a tail that possesses a secondary mouth full of sharp teeth. Its back is lined with dorsal plates and its head possesses three horns. Gomez here is 40 meters or 130 feet in height. The second one, Neronga. Neronga is a gray armored kaiju with two rows of yellow plates running down its back and dorsal spines bursting from the gaps between them. He has a large mouth with bright red gums and lips and a plethora of little teeth and four tusks. It also possesses beady eyes with short pupils, two insectoid mandible-like antlers and a single golden nasal horn decorate the top of its head. Naronga has an orange patch on his neck and five-fingered hands with extended claws on each thumb. It feeds on and can fire electric rays, can also become invisible and is 40 to 50 meters or 130 to 165 feet in height. The third one, Gabora. Also known as S-Class Species No. 8, Gabora appeared as a near-unkillable monster for the military. Since Gabora is a subterranean kaiju, it possesses frills which can be closed to form a drill. The drill is used by it to travel underground to radioactive sources to feed on. Gabora is quadrupedal in nature with a heavily armored skin and a round head with multiple eyes enclosed in this massive drill. It also has two long tails which also act and are designed as drills. It can also fire a deadly radioactive beam. Despite being quadrupedal, when it stands on two feet, its height is close to 70 meters or 230 feet. The fourth one, the Mammoth Flower. This is actually the second kaiju life form that appeared and was dealt with by the Japan Self-Defense Forces. It was known as the Mammoth Flower because it looks like a flower and it was mammoth in size. It sprung out from the earth in central Tokyo, flowering in front of the Tokyo station. The JSDF vanquished the Mammoth Flower and caused it to wilt after employing a mixture of carbon dioxide gas and fire. It was 100 meters or 328 feet in height. The fifth one, Peguila. This kaiju named Peguila is one of the many S-Class species to appear in Japan. Peguila emerged in the suburbs of a city that had frozen over due to its abilities. It appears as a vaguely reptilian bipedal monster with two tusks on its mouth and four limbs with bladed feathers as wings. It is later killed by the Japanese military after a female scientist uncovered its weakness, which we do not know. It can create a freezing mist around where it is and it stands 40 meters or 130 feet in height. Number 6. The Larugius The fourth giant monster to appear in Japan, the Larugius flew through the grounds of the Kumamoto castle, kicking up great clouds of dust and debris with each beat of its wings. The Larugius appears as a gigantic bird with white feathers and a red beak. It possesses an unknown stealth technique that allows it to evade detection, allowing him to avoid being detected after his initial appearance in Kumamoto. It was stated to be 50 meters or 165 feet in height. Number 7. Geigel Also stated as a hostile giant unknown life form number 5 or a dissolving S-Class species, it was the fifth kaiju to appear and attack Japan. It appears as a gigantic land snail with a massive shell on its back. The shell is multicolored and has spiky outgrowths here and there. Its eyes are luminescent or bioluminescent and are placed on stalks on the top of its head. This kaiju is the smallest here as it is only 20 meters or 65 feet tall. Number 8. Pagus Pagus was the sixth kaiju to surface in Japan and wreak havoc, appearing from underground. The creature feeds on nuclear substances and radioactive waste, and it had the ability to fire a radioactive beam. Pagus is quadrupedal in nature with a yellow armored back and gray scales as well as having a very long tail. It has a round head and multiple eyes. However, the military was able to kill it with a lot of effort but the radiation left behind by its corpse caused a great deal of damage and a large area to be off limits. Pagus was 30 meters or 100 feet tall. Number 9. Shin Ultraman A being from the planet of light, Ultraman's physique is fully metallic silver and with crimson parts. The silver is said to be solid spatium, whereas the crimson sections are biological. 
Ultraman has two oval shaped eyes that glow when it is awake and also full of energy. Ultraman's physique is humanoid and he sports a dorsal fin that extends almost all the way down his back. He stands 60 meters or 200 feet tall and is the main star of the show, obviously. Ultraman excels in hand to hand combat and can also fire ranged attacks like the spatium beam from his hand and the energy disc. Number 10 Zofi He is the final antagonist in the movie. He is of the same size and design as Ultraman except that he is yellowish golden in color as they are both from the same planet and being members of the same species. Zofi appeared in the end of the battle between Mephilus and Ultraman, hellbent on destroying the solar system to avoid humans being weaponized by the beta system by other alien species in the multiverse. This form of Zofi is more ethically dubious regarding the death of one sentient life form or a species among the billions in the galaxy as inconsequential and not above genocide. So Zofi here is more of a morally grey character from the planet of light. Number 11. Zarob A member of a race of aliens from planet Zarob of the same name, it is well talented at creating illusions. Zarob and its species have been mostly portrayed as vile beings with the desire to destroy other worlds either through trickery or deception. He is best remembered for being the first alien to imitate an Ultra, which he also did again here in Shin Ultraman, in order to frame the Ultra. Here Zarob is seen as a two-dimensional metallic entity with segmented scaly skin and four bluish dot eyes. Number 12. Mephilus Mephilus was seemingly the third alien to appear in planet Earth after Zarob and Ultraman. But according to him, however, he was in fact the first alien on Earth. He had been keeping an eye on the human race and Earth for a while, orchestrating all the kaiju related events. So it is his grand scheme of things that led to Ultraman fusing with a human and breaking his coat. His appearance, like Zarob, was black metallic with a frilled, almost smooth interlocking muffler covering the neck region and also his chest. He was metallic in structure, that's it. He was able to grow to a height of 60 meters or 200 feet to battle with Ultraman over control of the beta system technology. And lastly, Zedon. Zedon is considered to be the most powerful monster in the Ultraman series and made many appearances. However, more powerful kaiju over time have appeared though numerous stronger forms of Zedon have also been introduced as well. Here in Shin Ultraman, it appeared as a massive robotic super weapon that orbits the Earth preparing to destroy the entire solar system with its weapon having a destructive range of light years across. Its size alone would be in the kilometers or miles in scale. So I hope you have enjoyed watching this video on Shin Ultraman's kaijus and alien monsters. Do hit that like button for support and subscribe. But most of all, smash that bell icon for regular updates on new videos right here on this channel. Till the next one, take care fam.